Hey folks, so exciting news, Langflow recently launched desktop version of their application, which means you can install on your computer and get started building agent apps right away. So we're gonna look at how you can download, install and run Langflow locally and build agent applications. So we're gonna start with going to this website, langflow.org slash desktop, and you can install the version. So this is available for Mac OS. And once you download, you'll have that available in your list of applications. So I'm gonna look for Langflow here and we are gonna open that. First time it's gonna ask for a few things and it will start the installer. And the good thing is you don't have to run any command as you would do for the open source repo. All of this is gonna happen for you where it's gonna look at the dependencies, install what's needed and make that available for you. So we'll give it a few seconds until it's completed. Now, once it's ready, we are gonna see a familiar screen where we can start with our first flow. And if you have used hosted version or the open source version, it's gonna feel very similar. So we have this screen where we can get started to begin with. We can start with something as a basic prompting. Now, rest of the interface is very similar to what you are used to with the open source version. There are a few differences here. You'll notice that the publish and API access is under this dropdown and you can still access API it's going to show the local host version of the API, unlike the cloud hosted version. Now, if you have some sort of tunneling service where you can create a local tunnel, you can access this API from the internet and then also call any of your flows. Now, there is some Python, JavaScript, and curl code available as sample. And then the second option here is embed into site. So this is something you can take and embed on your website or blog or or anywhere that you would like to have an embedded version. So this could be connected with a RAG application or agent application, and then you can run those from an embedded widget. Now REST is very similar to what you have seen previously. There is folders where you can organize different folders as well as the projects within them. And let's say, for example, if you wanna import a flow, you can easily do that by dragging and dropping the JSON of that flow, and you'll have that available. Now the cool thing is with the desktop version, like the open source version, you can access your local files, folders, if you'd like to upload them for RAG or for any other purposes, you can do that. And you can have these flows running. So basically, if you have an agent application or a RAG application, you can have that running in the background while you are working with other tools. And you can have integration with tools using Composio, where your agents can now communicate with these tools and these flows can be running in background. So a lot of possibilities. Give it a try and let us know if you have any feedback.